Hi everyone, so in my video on maximum prices, I talked about how a maximum price can actually cause a deadweight loss. I shaded it in a triangle which showed that. And I said, well, if you really want to understand, watch this video to get your head around it. So in this video, I want to explain why a maximum price, when imposed in a market, can cause a deadweight loss. I'm going to do it in the very usual way. I'm going to compare uh, what surpluses and total welfare was in the free market before a maximum price. Then I'll have a look at what total welfare has ended up being as a result of the maximum price. And you'll see that after the maximum price has been implemented, total welfare has actually fallen, implying that there is a deadweight loss somewhere. Uh, I've drawn a diagram here of the free market with demand and supply, where the two equal, we have a price and quantity. I've also shown the impact of the maximum price. And what I've focused on is the actual production which takes place at Q2. That's the amount that's being produced and sold. We're only worrying about that quantity, nothing else, to show surplus effects. Okay, so in the free market then, what was our consumer surplus? Well, at price P1 in the free market, before a maximum price, consumer surplus was equal to A plus B plus E. Producer surplus was equal to C plus F plus D. So to work out consumer surplus, the area above the price below the demand curve, to work out producer surplus, the area below the price above the supply curve, gives us a total welfare of A plus B plus C plus D plus E and plus F. Right, so this total triangle here represents total welfare in the free market uh, before a maximum price was imposed. Now with a maximum price, set at P max. Let's isolate the effect on the surfaces. Remember, Q2 is the quantity we're focusing on because Q2 is what's produced and sold. So all surfaces now must be referred back to Q2. So price P max, what's the consumer surplus? Well, the consumer surplus now, given that only Q2 is actually sold, the consumer surplus is the area below the demand curve but above the price given the amount of units actually sold, which actually takes us to A plus B plus C. So although area E has been lost in terms of consumer surplus, that's been recovered by area C in some respect. Producer surplus though has fallen massively. Uh, producers are suffering hugely from a fall in price. Now the area below the price and above the supply curve is only D. So a big loss there for producers. There is no kind of uh, other impact on governments here, no cost, no revenue to the, for the government to look at. So now we just add up our total surpluses and what we get is A plus B plus C plus D. And if we compare our total welfare to what we had before a maximum price, we'll realise there are two bits of welfare that society is gaining in the free market, which now, as a result of the maximum price, are being lost. And they are areas E and F. So lump those two together, we get a triangle here, which represents the deadweight loss to society. These were areas of welfare that society was benefiting from before the maximum price was imposed, trades that were taking place that were adding benefit, that were giving benefit to society, that are now not taking place, and therefore society is losing out as a result. They are suffering a loss as a result of these units not being produced. Areas E and F give us the total welfare loss as a result of this maximum price being imposed. So anytime you draw a maximum price diagram, you can shade in this triangle, you can call it a dead weight loss, and if you need to, you now can explain why a dead weight loss occurs. Alright, so there you go. Anytime we intervene in markets, anytime governments get involved and distort market outcomes, when before efficient resource allocation was taking place, there is always going to be a deadweight loss of society. This video explains it for a maximum price. Hopefully that's clear and concise, you understand it, you're confident with it. Thanks for watching, see you all next time.